now we are having characteristics of liquids so first characteristic of liquid we are having a liquid have definite volume but no definite shape for example these i am having two beakers actually this beaker is also 100 ml and this beaker is also 100 ml volume of the beaker is same but shape you can see this shape is different this shape is different fine when i will take 100 ml of like liquid only and i will pour into this jar then it will contain 100 ml volume only 100 ml liquid then it will contain 100 ml only when i will pour the same 100 ml into this beaker here also it is 100 ml only it is not like 100 ml changes to 150 ml no 100 ml changes to 100 ml only it is not changes actually it is same only but you can check that it can changes its shape liquid change its shape but liquid cannot change its volume so liquids are having their definite or fixed volume but liquids are not having its definite shape so shape can change in liquids but volume cannot change in liquids next we are having second points liquids can flow as we know in the liquids particles are little bit apart from each other so due to this less intermolecular force of attraction and due to more intermolecular space the liquids can flow very easily fine next we are having liquids cannot be compressed easily if here i am in this beaker i am having one liquid like water i am having and with this piston this is a piston this is a apparatus used to put pressure on the particles of liquid so when i am going to press the liquid particles liquid particles are not compressing so you can say liquid particles cannot compressed easily fine next we are having liquids are dense what do you mean by dense actually dense means mass per unit volume this density you will do in grade 7th or grade 8th but no problem here i will tell you what do you mean by dense dense means if you can say in the hindi word that is sangna like punjabi you can say sangna how the particles are very close to each other so as you can see particles are very close to each other in liquid also so when particles are close to each other in that case you can say density is there means particle means liquids are dense means particles are close to each other okay so when particles are close to each other when more particles are there per unit volume that is known as its density so liquids are dense okay next we are having the constituents molecules in a liquid are less loosely packed as you can see the liquid particles of liquids are like this so these constituent molecules or particles of liquid they are very loosely not very they are less loosely packed very loosely packed will come in gases okay so they are less loosely packed means some spaces are there between the molecules and force of attraction is also little bit less intermolecular force in liquids are strong as compared to solid but not strong as compared to gas sorry the intermolecular force is less strong as compared to solid here i am having solid so you can check intermolecular force of attraction between the solid is more because solid particles are very close to each other when solid particles are close means force of attraction in the solid is more so force of attraction in solid is more than in liquids liquid some spaces are there no some like gap is there between the particles so that is why intermolecular force is less strong in liquid as compared to solid but in gases many spaces are there so intermolecular force of attraction is very less next we are having a liquid may be transformed into gaseous state by heating it up here for example we are having one liquid in this jar when i am going to heat the liquid for example in this water is there when i am heating the water so heating this water means liquid is converting into what vapors or liquid is converting into gaseous state so here what is the main thing that liquids can convert into gaseous state liquids can convert into gaseous state how what i am doing here actually here i am giving the heat so liquids can convert into gaseous state by heating it up 
and the fixed temperature what I am giving to this liquid so that it can convert into gaseous state that fixed temperature is known as boiling point okay so the fixed temperature at which liquid is converting into gaseous state that fixed temperature is known as boiling point eighth point we are having a liquid may be transformed into its solid state by cooling it up to its freezing points for for example here i am having a liquid so this liquid this liquid can you convert into a solid this liquid for example this water can you convert this water into ice then yes obvious we can convert water into ice how we can convert we can convert by cooling it up so we can convert water into ice by cooling water so you can say that liquids can be easily transformed into solid state by cooling it up and the fixed temperature that i am giving to liquid so that it can convert into solid that fixed temperature is known as its freezing point okay so what is a freezing point or what is a freezing first of all what is a freezing freezing means when liquid state of matter converts into solid state of matter that is known as freezing and the fixed temperature at which liquid state of matter converts into solid state of matter that fixed temperature is known as freezing point